Hi. Today, for the first time ever, um, I have been given a chance of driving a lorry from the future. Well, that feels interesting, right? I got a lorry with a key. For the first time ever, looking like a like a regular car key, except for the cello tape. That's how my company professionally repairs things. Cello tape does the job, right? But for the first time ever, actually, you don't put that key anywhere. It's like a regular car. I uh, just put it in your pocket or just 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 touch it here, whatever you like. So basically, what you do is, it's like in the previous edition, uh, it is a button, but it looks nicer. So when you press it, it just welcomes you. Come on. See, it wakes up, it takes a little bit, but it wakes up. Um, that's radio on, and I'll turn it on to the next stage. I need to press it again. That's it on. It does, says basically the suspension is low, but it needs to be. It needs to be for. Um, needs to be for the reason of loading. So, what do we have here? First, uh, that's a lorry without mirrors. Uh, actually, it has two mirrors there. That's number one and number two. We can't get rid of these, but the side mirrors, they no longer exist. These are monitors. They have a camera here, right? Camera. Um, what's that? This is not a damaged camera. Basically, this line detects the end of a trailer. So it shows you, if you when you drive, you can see easily um, that's the end of the trailer here, so you can safely go back to the lane, overtake, whatever. But now it's blinking because it's, the, the angle is wrong. I love it. The suspension is not working like it should. Um, that is, so, um, we have three lines here. These three lines are for uh, distance. So, uh, for me, the safest is when the car is here, so then I can actually change lane. If I see a car here, more or less, it's, it's safer. Um, that's just a measurement. Another one of the shockers is you see there is no there's no knob to change the to turn on the light. So I was wondering whether I do it, and uh, you do it here, right? See, that's main menu, and that's lights. So you can turn on just lights, just these side lights. You see. And you press this, and you have these lights. You can put it on out auto, but um, and they're not off when the engine is not running, so I'll have to turn it off. And when you turn it off, then you see it asks, "Are you really sure?" Yes, I am. And the lights are off. Well, should be off. Come on. Great. Uh, I don't know why. Oh no, yeah. Because I see that needs the gesture needs to be exact. Let's try it again. On, off. Yes, the gesture must be very exact to make sure it's not a mistake. Um, that's basically the settings and the climate control. Uh, that's how it looks like. And, and just, just the whole thing is like, uh, for, like really like filmed it from the future. Smartphone is not connected at the moment, but it's very, very, very easy to do it, and, and it works perfectly. The microphone is here, and it's, and it's um, microphone is yeah, great. It's here, so it's it's extremely well working. It's the best microphone we've ever had. Tra uh, chance of testing. Um, it, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, what else can I say about this Mercedes? Yes, uh, the handbrake, uh, it's finally th the best handbrake I've ever had in my life as well. Um, it's better than Scania, I thought it's not, not possible to make it better than Scania. It actually is, um, it's fully automatic, so you switch off the engine by this and it's basically the handbrake is on. And when you try to, when you put, put it to drive, it accelerates immediately off, it's working perfectly. And it's not like Scania, 
you don't have to put the CD well on to make it work automatically. And it's great on the depot because I don't have to play with the seat belt. I just move trailers around and I don't need the seat belt, which is absolutely stunning. Um, here, 24 volts, two sockets, uh, USB, um, USB C, and USB regular, big USB. So, um, can I show you anything else in here? Uh, yes, um, first steering wheel, very nice steering wheel with a with a horn here. Not there. Right? It, used to, it used to be here. Now it's not. Um, what else? This is basically a sensor and, and a button. So if you look at that, you see it actually moves. You, 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 just, you just slide and then you press. When you press, it is um, going in. See? Same thing here with the menu. Uh, you just move it see that's absolutely perfect what's more um, the cruise control for some reason it's set to maximum 53 miles per hour right but when you when you drive I can't show you this uh, because I'm not gonna record when I drive uh, but when, when you drive it actually shows you here um, What's the distance to the nearest car or vehicle, bicycle vehicle? And what's the speed of the vehicle in front of you? And it's gonna adjust as well. If, if you want to follow the vehicle, it's gonna adjust the speed fully and, and actually go. It's, it's, it's a beauty. Um, what else? No, it's just really, I, I well, it's not everything perfect here. It's still Mercedes, right? It's still Mercedes rubbish engine in it which means it's actually 420 horsepower. I don't believe, well, I believe maybe the, well, 300 horses have COVID or um, maybe they're on a holiday because there's no chance you can compare Scania at 420 or even DAF uh, to, to this because Mercedes is like you press the acceleration pedal to the bottom and Mercedes says, nah, no chance, pal. No chance, I'm tired. Uh, maybe tomorrow, right? Maybe tomorrow. So, nah, it's still Mercedes, but the seat is comfy and today honestly I forgot to raise my seat and it was still comfy and well when they raise the seat it's just the adjustments the comfort of it ah, it's, it's really it's it's absolute belter I love it so um, ah, it's a pleasure ah, it's a pleasure to drive this so uh, thank you for watching